when this business started, we produced products for steel and iron and foundry. And through a turn of events, uh, we needed to find another avenue or another segment of the refractory industry to supply goods. And that just happened to be in the glass industry. You know what this is? It's alumina zirconia silicate. And it's vital in this bottle that may be in your refrigerator. It's not part of the contents, but it did go into the making of the bottle. They don't make the bottles themselves at Special Shapes Refractory. They do make the linings for the containers in which the bottles are formed. The backward side of the glass plant is melted in a furnace at about 2900, 2950 degrees. The refractory is the lining that those parts are melted on to usually go to another processing system. This is where the process starts with the, the bringing in of inventories of aggregates and minerals ground out of the earth. What you and I would call rocks are the beginning of the refractory process. We add it back in different formulations as rocks in the mix to withstand whatever temperatures or whatever the needs of our customers are. Our largest end customer is Anheuser-Busch. Wine bottles, champagne bottles from the West Coast, so Gallo is a customer of ours. Any jar that you would uh, come across in the grocery store, those are made here in America and furnaces that we supply the, the linings for, and it's, it's really interesting. This is part of the, the cake pan, but they're all different shapes and all different sizes, and this would make the internal part of the cake. This is, this is part of the process to make the mold that we can pour the refractory material in. Each bottle is made in its own mold, and so the bottle has an individualized code. I check bottles all the time and just make sure they're empty. It's still interesting, continuous process with heat, and you can go to the store and buy the end product. So the next time you buy a bottle of this, or this, or this, you're probably more interested in the contents than the container. But how did the container get to you? Well, it all started here at Special Shapes Refractory, which makes all those bottles absolutely Alabama.